welcome to this module and what we have seen we have seen in the last module that uh, what are the applications of operation amplifier right so when we talk about the operation amplifier we have seen filters and in the last module we have seen low pass filter before low pass filter we have seen differentiator we have seen integrator and how differentiator and integrators can be used right so what we can do we have to learn more right we do not stop learning and uh, this time I have brought you another set of experiments which we have already uh, studied in the theory class and uh, that are another type of filter. So, if you remember or if you recall yesterday's uh, or day before yesterday's I, I do not recall when I have uh, recorded the class, uh, but some module or I think previous module uh, we have seen the low pass filter right and uh, uh, we have also seen the type of filters that is depending on the element it can be passive filter it can be active filter right uh, if it is just a resistor capacitors or inductors passive resistors capacitors op amp active right and then we have also seen the uh, filters based on the frequency like if it is if it is allowing the low pass frequency to pass and it rejects high pass then it is low pass filter right if it allows high pass frequency to pass and it rejects low pass frequency it is high pass filter same way we said band pass filter same way we said band reject filter and we said all pass all pass is nothing but it will pass all the frequency correct. So, when we talk about uh, high pass filter what does high pass filter means right it will allow a certain set of frequency that we want at high frequency it will allow and low frequency it will reject low frequency it will reject. So, if you if you again uh, recall uh, what was the circuit for low pass filter was the capacitor at the starting a resistor was there or resistor was the stopping and capacitor was there what was that resistor was at the input and then you had a capacitor is not it and then you used the uh, differentiator you also use integrator that are also kind of filters only right. Uh, but anyway what we are trying to do today is we are understanding how we can design the high pass filter. Before we come to the designing of a high pass filter uh, using the using the equipment that we we love to our heart right which is very near to our heart which is function generator, DC power supply, oscilloscope. Every time I am using the same kind of equipment right more or less and using this three equipment we are performing so many experiments with the operation amplifier with the operation amplifier right and of course, we, we, we use multimeter and breadboard and uh, IC. So, let us see uh, uh, high pass filter uh, in this module and we will perform the experiment and then we will take a break and we will continue another module all right. So, if you look at the screen today's uh, uh, lectures are divided into three parts uh, one is about the filters and one about rectifiers then how it is three part because it filters there are multi many parts and rectifier we will see two different parts and that is why I said uh, it is divided into three parts or, or in fact uh, we can also say it is divided into three modules all right three modules ok. So, uh, when you talk about the experiments let us see high pass filter. So, if you remember yesterday or day before yesterday or in the last lecture in fact what we have seen we have seen the we have seen the low pass filter low pass filter right where what it will do it will allow this is the pass band P B this is top band S P right high pass filter you see high pass filter low pass filter when you compare it is absolutely opposite it is the frequency that is stopped here that frequency is allowed to pass the frequency which is passed here their frequency is blocked here right. So, this is the ideal ideal uh, plot for the high pass filter which you can see in figure 1 you have y axis which is your gain you have x axis which is your frequency right. Now, we have seen that we have to write gain in decibels we write frequency in hertz correct. Now, this is what is written figure 1 below shows the ideal frequency response of a high pass filter ok. A high pass filter passes all frequencies from the cutoff frequency all frequencies you see cutoff frequency is here it will pass all the frequency 
from the cutoff frequency and higher and blocks all frequencies below the cutoff frequency and blocks all the frequencies below the cutoff frequency. Now, <coughs> uh, what happened uh, what was the case in low pass filter? It will pass all the frequency below below the cutoff frequency. In case of high pass filter above or higher than cutoff frequency all right. So, uh, it is very easy to remember low pass high pass you cannot forget it because it is same definition just little bit of change cutoff frequency and higher and blocks all frequency below the cutoff frequency. In that case it was a cutoff frequency and lower and cuts and blocks all the frequency above the cutoff frequency very easy above and below. So, in this case it is below the cutoff frequency it will block that means this is cutoff frequency below this this particular range it will block this range above cutoff frequency it will pass right this is what it means about high pass filter. Okay. So, let us go to the next slide. Now, uh, we have seen the low pass uh, passive filter correct and if you remember the low pass filter, uh, passive filter it had a resistor and it had a capacitor. So, if I draw a low pass filter it has a resistor and there was a capacitor. and we were measuring the output across the capacitor ground right. This was our R, it was our C, here we were applying the input signal, this was our V in, this is my low pass filter passive. passive passive low pass filter. What happens in high pass filter? High pass filter again passive filter passive filter in high pass passive filters I have the capacitor taking place of the resistor and resistor taking place of a capacitor in the low pass circuit very easy it is interchange interchange the position right. Here if you see on the screen uh, the resistor where it was there in low pass filter now we are keep placing a capacitor where there was capacitor now we are placing a resistor right is just interchanging the components. So, you cannot also forget the uh, uh, high pass filter circuit and low pass filter circuit when it comes to passive right very easy. So, now, now let us let us clear our slide and see the first sentence of this slide a simple a simple passive RC high pass filter RC because there is a resistor there is a capacitor there is a resistor the resistor and a capacitor low a uh, simple RC high pass or high pass filter I told you yesterday uh, last lecture low pass filter high pass filter. Okay. So, LPF HPF here we have written HPF it is a high pass filter. So, uh, a simple passive high pass filter can be easily made by connecting together uh, in series a single resistor with a single capacitor as shown in figure 2 as shown in figure 2 right. In this type of filter arrangement the input signal V in input signal which is here right this one is applied to the series combination of both resistors and capacitors together. You see this capacitor is in series with resistor right, this capacitor is in series with this resistor. So, the input signal is applied to the series combination of capacitor and resistors 1, but the output signal is taken across the resistor, output signal is taken, taken across the resistor. You can see here the V out is taken across the resistor all right. So, this type of filter is also called first order high pass uh, filter. Uh, you, you remember uh, when we use 1 R and 1 C we also called it is first order high pass or first order low pass filter. This is first order high pass filter right or it is also called one pole filter. If you see screen you will see we have also written it is also called one pole filter because 
it has only one reactive component only one reactive component that is the capacitor in the circuit right. Same thing exactly same sentence we have used in the low pass passive filter that it is a first order low pass filter instead of high pass we say just low pass low pass we will or one pole because only one reactive component that is capacitor in the circuit right. So, it is very easy to understand high pass filter let us quickly see what we have said first thing that we have said is that a simple R a simple high pass filter can be can be uh, designed by using one capacitor and one resistor right. Second thing that we have said uh, is that the uh, signal is applied the signal is applied across series of this capacitor and a resistor ok and the output is taken across the resistor. Finally, we say that this is a first order high pass filter or one pore filter because there is one reactive component and that is the capacitor easy extremely easy to understand the high pass passive filter right. Let us go to the next slide. So, let us see this example let us see the example the example is that if you are asked to calculate if you are asked to calculate the cutoff frequency or break point frequency. So, cutoff is also called break point break point frequency for a simple passive high pass filter for a simple passive high pass filter consisting of capacitor C equals to 0 0.1 microfarad connected in series with resistor R equals to 10 kilo ohm right. What you have to find you have to find the cutoff frequency. Now, we already know F C equals to 1 by 2 pi R C right we substitute the values. So, if you say F C 1 by 2 pi R C that is 1 upon 1 upon 2 pi into 10 k 10 k is your R 1.1 microfarad is your C right when you solve it you will find 159.15 hertz ok very easy extremely easy. <coughs> just substitute the value and you will get the answer substitute the value you will get the answer all right. Now, how about active high pass filter right now we what we have seen we have just seen passive high pass filter passive high pass filter was just one capacitor in series with a resistor right. But when we talk about active high pass filter we have to use active component and active component is nothing but our amplifier our op amp op amp right what is op amp you all know op amp is nothing but operational amplifier operational amplifier this is an active component here we are using our favorite non inverting unity amplifier or buffer buffer or voltage follower voltage follower right is non inverting unity gain amplifier or you can say buffer or you can say voltage follower three names of the same circuit which is this one right. So, when we connect the passive high pass filter to the non inverting unity amplifier then we get active high pass filter then we can get active high pass filter. We will also see instead of unity gain amplifier we can also use inverting and non inverting amplifiers. So, we will see that in the next slides probably. Now, let us remove this same thing is written in the uh, on the slide what is written that the basic electrical operation of an active high pass filter is exactly the same as we saw in the equivalent RC passive high pass filter except that the circuit has a operational as an operational amplifier or op amp included within its filter design included within its filter design providing amplification and gain control providing amplification and gain control. Here again rem remember your formula remains same F c equals to 1 upon 2 pi R c. F c equals to 1 upon 2 pi R c all right. 
So, when we connect the C the R in series with the non inverting unity gain because you see non inverting we are applying to non inverting terminal so unity gain voltage follower right unity gain amplifier because the gain is 1 A V equals to 1 right this we all remember. So, it is very easy to define your active high pass filter very easy to define active high pass filter. Now, when you see here this is grounded okay? do not do not think that it is not grounded if we do not show that it means it is not grounded it is not correct because when you are taking voltage you are applying voltage and you are measuring voltage it is always with respect to ground it is always with respect to ground. So, this is grounded this is grounded all right. So, do not think that oh this circuit is not correct this circuit is absolutely correct. So, do not get uh, confused when you do not see any ground when you apply voltage voltage is nothing but voltage difference between two points right one point is your signal and another point is your ground. Now, let us see if I use a non inverting amplifier a non inverting amplifier for the amplification along with the uh, passive RC filter along with passive IRC filter. So, this becomes my active high pass filter with amplification how amplification because now I have R 1 and R 2 in the for the amplification for the changing of the gain you can change the gain with the help of R 1 you can change the gain with the help of R 2 or a actually in combination of R 1 and R 2 right. Now, voltage gain for this particular uh, active high pass filter is also given by V out upon V in and here V out is A f into f by f c and V in is 1 up square root of 1 plus f by f c whole square. This again we have seen in the theory class how the voltage gain can be defined right. So, we have to just remember that this is voltage gain. Now, A f is a pass band gain of the filter and is nothing but 1 plus R 2 by R 1 why 1 plus R 2 by R 1 because this is this is non inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier right non inverting amplifier will have a gain of 1 plus r 2 by r 1 we know that right. Second f so this a f we know now we are talking about this f or this f f is the frequency of the input signal in hertz f is the frequency of the input signal in hertz ok. Then what is this f c this component f c f c is your cut off frequency in hertz. So, now we know the formula of voltage gain and what ex what exactly the terms within the voltage gain are first is your pass band gain which is 1 plus r 2 by r 1 second is your frequency for the input signal third is your cut off frequency frequency is given in hertz easy extremely easy right. What we has what we can see in this particular circuit one thing that we have to notice in this particular circuit is that is that the input signal that you are applying if you consider the voltage peak to peak voltage V in C V out the voltage has been amplified peak to peak voltage is higher when it comes to the output value output voltage right. That amplification is because you have the you have the amplification of 1 plus R 2 by R 1 right. So, this will not only amplify the signal it will also act as a high pass. So, it is a high pass filter along with amplification right. If you use unity gain amplifier then it is high pass filter without amplification. If you use inverting amplifier high pass filter with uh, again amplification the formula would be different right. So, if you go to the next slide now you remember this thing right we have already discussed in the last module that when you talk about low pass filter when you talk about low pass filter this would be V out by V in would be greater than A f right. We have seen that this would be same and this would be less than. So, the point is in case of high pass filter in case of high pass filter just like low pass filter 
the operation of high pass filter can be uh, can be verified using the formula for following formulas first at very low frequency when f is less than fc your out v out by v in will be less than af that is the first uh, thing that we can use to verify the active high pass filter that at very low frequency you will find that v out by v in is less than your gain second at the cutoff frequency that is f equals to fc cutoff frequency f equals to fc your v out by v in is af by square root of 2 af by square root of 2 or 0 0.707 af 0 0.707 af at very high frequency that is f greater than f c v out by v in is equal to a f right. So, we have three things first at very low frequency we have v out by v in is less than a f at cutoff frequency we have v out by v in equals to 0 0.07 a f at very high frequency we have v out by v in is equal to a f these three things you have to remember three, three, three things we have to remember. Now, the cutoff frequency or the corner frequency f c can be found by using the same formula f equals to 1 upon 2 pi r c we have discussed this right is same for here. Where if you want to measure the phase shift then phase shift is given by phi equals to 10 inverse of 1 by 2 pi r c right. So, formula for frequency formula for phase is given here all right. So, again remember when you have active high pass filter then you should understand that three different things one is f less than f c what will be v out by in when f is equals to f c what will be v out by v in when f is greater than f c what will be v out by v in when it comes to frequency f equals to 1 by 2 pi r c when it comes to phase phi equals to 10 inverse of 1 by 2 pi r c. So, 1 divided by 2 pi now, once we know these things, once we know these things, then we can we can take an example, take an example, and let's see whether we can solve it. All right. So, what is the example? Read. Design a non-inverting active high pass filter that has a gain of two and a low cutoff frequency or corner frequency of one kilohertz for a given capacitor of 10 nano farad. So, we have few information we have gain gain of 2, we have capacitance of 10 nano farad, we have cutoff frequency or corner frequency of 1 kilohertz this is given what we have to uh, design a non inverting high pass filter active active high pass filter this we have to design all right. So, now we know that what is the formula for f f equals to 1 upon 2 pi r c or 1 divided by 2 pi r c. So, r will be 1 divided by 2 pi f c right this is capacitor this is frequency. So, if I substitute the values in this particular formula which is right over here I have 1 up divided by 2 pi what is f f is f is 1 kilohertz. So, 1 kilohertz into 10 nano farad is my capacitance. So, I will get value of r equals to 15.92 approximately we can write 16 kilo ohms 16 kilo ohms right. Now, now the pass band gain the pass band gain of the filter a is given by you remember it is a non inverting non inverting you see here the question is design a non inverting active filter. So, pass band gain is 1 plus r 2 by r 1 this is the pass band gain. So, what is a a is given gain of 2 a equals to 2 right. So, this is a equals to 1 plus r 2 by r 1 a value is given. So, 2 equals to 1 plus r 2 divided by r 1 or we can say r 2 by r 1 equals to 2 minus 1 equals to 1 this is the formula this is the solution. Now, we know what is the value of r 2 by r 1 we know what is the value of r right. So, can we design it yes we can design it. So, if I now connect if I now connect 
a capacitor, a resistor right and ground it. I connect my uh, invert non inverting amplifier right and I have a resistor here, I connect here, I have here. Now, I know R 2, I know R 1, I know R, I know C correct. So, now I can design the active high pass filter, I can design active high pass filter so easy super easy ok. So, I have found R 2 by R 1, I also found value of R. So, now what to do? Now what to do? As value of R 2 divided by resistor R 1 gives value of 1 right then resistor R 1 must be equal to R 2. See if R 2 by R 1 equals to 1 implies R 2 equals to R 1 into 1 which is equals to R 1. So, R 2 should be equal to R 1 correct R 2 R 2 should be equals to R 1 that is what it is saying. Hmm? We can therefore, select a suitable value of two resistors say 10 kilo ohms each for the feedback resistor. Then you can select any value that you want to select, you can select R 1 equals to R 2 equals to 10 kilo ohm all right that is a one value. Now, for a high pass filter, high pass filter with a cutoff frequency of 1 kilohertz, the value of R and C will be 16 kilo ohm and then 10 nanofarad. You see C is already given, R we found. R we have found R is nothing but 16 kilo ohm right C is there R is there that is what he is saying the value is R and C will be 16 kilo ohm and 10 nanofarad respectively. So, the values of two feedback resistor to produce a pass band gain of uh, this particular active high pass filter is nothing but R 1 equals to R 2 equals to 10 kilo ohm you can keep 1 kilo ohm also right. So, here we have selected 10 kilo ohms R 1 equals to R 2 equals to 10 kilo ohms. So, now we have value of resistor, we have value of capacitor, we have value of feedback resistors. So, from here we can design the active high pass filter. So, if you are given a question to design active high pass filter right do not do not worry it is very easy to uh, identify easy to solve this question because given some uh, little bit of information we can design uh, the active high pass filter by the formula that we already know right and this is a inverting inverting amplifier. So, remember inverting amplifier 1 plus r 2 by r 1 non inverting amplifier minus r 2 by r 1 right. So, now we know in non inverting amplifier 1 plus r 2 by r 1 ok one thing is done gain is given yes 2 equals to 1 2 plus 2 r 2 by r 1. So, r 2 by r 1 equals to 1 r 2 equals to r 1 r 2 equals to r 1 we select one value done. Now, you are given uh, value of frequency value of capacitor, but you are not given value of resistor correct. So, f equals to 1 upon 2 pi r c. So, r equals to 1 upon 2 pi f c you get value of r. Now, you have value of r you have value of c you have value of r 1 you have value of r 2 you have value of frequency. So, everything you have. So, you can easily design your active high pass filter so easy super easy right. So, let us go to the next slide and what we see is what we see is for a given set of value. So, we if we have voltage gain this is a formula we already know right for this if I keep on changing the frequency you see keep on 100 hertz 200 hertz 500 hertz right I have different voltage gain I have voltage gain V o by V in for that if I change it to uh, gain in terms of decibel I can plot frequency versus decibel or frequency versus gain and I can get this particular plot I get this particular plot here you will see that here you will see that it allows the frequency from this onwards the pass band is here and it does not allow the frequency below this particular range which is your minus 3 dB you have to understand minus 3 dB. I asked you earlier also I am asking you again why why 3 dB why find it out ok. So, we have here stop band we have here pass band that means this is your active high pass filter right we have frequency we have gain gain frequency stop band pass band we can design this can we design this let us see 
So, again uh, uh, with courtesy of Sitaram right we all know him uh, we got this circuit which is from P spice and uh, using this P spice model uh, he has generated uh, uh, this particular plot and from here the, the equation is with a cutoff frequency given as 1 kilohertz and a capacitor of 10 nanofarad what you will get what will be your pass band what will be your stop band what will be your pass band and what will be your stop band right. So, you see here this is bias voltage right this is R 2 this is R 3 R 2 by R 3 is 1 plus R 2 by R 3 this gain R 1 capacitor it becomes your filter right. So, so when you apply signal here right then you can measure the voltage across output 6 and you find that you get the peak like this and here you have to find the your cutoff frequency is given uh, you have to uh, find what is a stop band and what is a uh, pass band all right. So, you can perform the same simulation using P spice if you have the, pro the provision of using that particular software. Okay. So, let us see if I really want to perform the experiment hmm? and what experiment I will do I will I will connect this passive high pass filter and apply different signal at the input different signal when I say is I will change the uh, I will start with 5 volts peak to peak and I will observe the output and uh, I will I will uh, decrease the frequency you see I will keep on decreasing the frequency. So, here if you see this circuit which is here R is given C is given I am using the value of capacitor equals to 0 0.1 microfarad I am using resistor equals to 10 kilo ohm right. I am applying 5 volts as input and applying 5 kilohertz as a frequency this is my voltage peak to peak voltage is 5 volts and my frequency is 5 kilohertz. For this particular signal right I have to observe what is my V out what is my V out V out right. So, and now what I will do once I observe the V out right I will start decreasing the frequency slowly from 5 kilohertz to 50 hertz from 5 kilohertz to 50 hertz will keep on decreasing the frequency and with each decrease of frequency we will uh, or a step of uh, frequency we will see this uh, output voltage which keeps changing and we will see what kind of signal or what kind of the shape of signal we observe at the output right. So, we will do this experiment. Uh, so, the one thing that we have now learned is that for generating this 5 volts peak to peak 5 kilohertz we are using we are using for here function f u n c t i o n function generator g n g e n n e r a t o r generator right. For voltage at output v out we are using oscilloscope oscilloscope correct and we can also measure the just a voltage if you want to measure we can measure voltage with your digital multimeter this is digital oscilloscope or it is also called DSO also called DSO alright. So, what we will see we will see that what kind of at for 5 volts 5 volts 5 kilohertz what is the output and then we will keep on changing from 5 kilohertz we will go down to 50 hertz and we will again see the output voltage V o in the oscilloscope all right. So, let us see this experiment and for performing this experiment I like uh, Sitaram to uh, help us and uh, uh, he will be showing us the circuit. So, if you can see the circuit which is holding right this is your this is your R and C resistor and capacitor and using this R C uh, you can form your uh, high pass 
passive filter high pass filter passive filter because your capacitor is at the input and resistor is following the capacitor all right so you can apply signal at the input of the capacitor and uh, ground of the resistor right so one is input another one is ground this this terminal and this terminal of the resistor these are in series they are in series all right there is a high pass high pass passive filter that is what we are working on all right so he has this uh, breadboard now uh, as usual first of all we have to generate the signal and we also have to apply the bias voltage to the op amp later on because right now this is a passive filter for passive filter we do not require to apply the voltage for passive filter we do not re require to apply the uh, uh, the bias voltage because there is no active component right. So, we can directly apply the uh, signal to the capacitor and we will observe the output across the resistor using the oscilloscope. So, he is right now connecting the function generator to the to the input of the capacitor. So, what you can see he has applied 5 kilohertz frequency 5 kilohertz frequency and the amplitude is 5 volts peak to peak amplitude is 5 volts peak to peak. right so you can see one is ground and the input is given to the capacitor now we have to connect the output to the oscilloscope output to the oscilloscope so now all of you know how we can do it right we have to connect the so if you can give me one probe do you have one probe no probe probe like this oscilloscope probe. all right so look at me say i'll show you something i am holding this probes right one is longer one one is a shorter one one is longer one one is shorter one this is the probe that we connect to the oscilloscope all right is a probe that we connect to the oscilloscope right you can see okay now we have that's that's good enough we have a longer probe longer in terms of length or shorter one shorter one sh this one goes to the oscilloscope the shorter one is connected to the ground the longer one is connected to the signal all right that is what we do. So, right now if you see when you see in the on the breadboard what you can see the longer one wherever you see is connected to the signal and the shorter one is connected to the ground all right. So, can you bring it little bit this side yeah. So, if you see th there are a lot of probes uh, always a longer one is connected to the uh, input and the shorter one is connected to the probe. Now, if we concentrate on the uh, oscilloscope what we see what we see is we have applied we have applied 5 volts peak to peak. So, okay, he has changed it we have applied 5 volts peak to peak and at the output we can see 5 volts peak to peak. Now, it is 5.28 5.28 that is fine. So, yellow and blue are the input and output. Uh, and you can see that the output is following the input right the frequency is 5 kilohertz voltage peak to peak voltage is 5.28 volts. Now, as we have uh, 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 seen on the screen that we were going to change from 5 kilohertz to 50 hertz. So, he is going to change slowly in terms of 500 uh, can you change in terms of uh, 1 kilohertz ok 1 kilohertz. So, now 4 kilohertz 5 minus 1 is 4 kilohertz. Now, we are applying 4 kilohertz if amplitude is same let us see the oscilloscope let us see the oscilloscope and we will see that it is still following there is no problem filter is working fine. This is passive filter and this uh, uh, high pass filter all right remember this. So, low pass low frequency should not pass all right now from 4 kilohertz uh, we are changing to 3 kilohertz you see 
you are changing to 3 kilohertz till it is working well no problem. So, let us change to 2 kilohertz, 2 kilohertz no problem 1 kilohertz, <coughs> 1 kilohertz Okay. What is the F C that we have calculated? 100 hertz? 150 hertz. So, the, the cut off frequency, the cut off frequency that we have calculated is about 150, 160 hertz. So, uh, you, until that you will be able to see that the this uh, input and output are working well, the frequency is going well. You see that uh, 300 hertz, 300 hertz is allowing to pass, then we can reduce it to 200 hertz, is still allowing to pass? No. Now, you see the peak to peak voltage peak to peak voltage is decreased you see peak to peak voltage in a blue one 4.08 volts, but where the input signal is 5.0 volts. Now, the peak to peak voltage start in decreasing right. If I go for 159 hertz it is decreasing because now this is slightly below our cut off frequency slightly below our cut off frequency. So, you observe the peak to peak voltage at the output which is in blue color which is 3.68 volts, your input is 5.12 volts and your frequency is uh, frequency is 159.2 hertz right. So, uh, the, the, the output voltage would be uh, 5 divided by square root of 2 and that is how you can calculate the output voltage how it will change with respect to input below the cutoff frequency. So, if I still go on decreasing it you can still see there is a change right. So, I am decreasing to 50 hertz close to 50 hertz right and I see that my output voltage has been reduced to 1.84 volts and I cannot pass the frequency see the voltage is decreased the voltage is decreased. This is using the using the passive passive components right. So, it is a active filter or uh, sorry it is a high pass filter using passive component. Now, let us see and so, what we observe? We observe that the output voltage, the output voltage decreases, decreases when we come uh, below the cutoff frequency. When we come below the cutoff frequency, the output voltage decreases, right? So, let us now see uh, if we want to design an active high pass filter. All right, if you want to design active high pass filter. Uh, we will continue where we have left in the last module and that was the uh, act, uh, that was high pass filter using passive components. And we have seen the experiment how the experiments uh, uh, results were there when we applied input signal how the output signal was changing with respect to input signal and we could see that for the cutoff frequency of 159 hertz uh, below that this the uh, the frequency could not pass that is the active high pass uh, the high pass filter came into uh, play. Right. So, now if I use active high pass filter that means I am now using operational amplifier I am using operational amplifier. In this particular case in this particular case if I want to study active high pass filter I have to connect my circuit as shown in figure 8 shown in figure 8 right. So, the here the circuit is shown in figure 8 R 1 equals to 10 kilo ohm R 2 equals to 10 kilo ohm. So, that gain is 1 and C equals to 0.1 microfarad, C equals to 0.1 microfarad. The cutoff frequency we all know cutoff frequency is 1.2 1 by 2 by R C. So, still the cutoff frequency is 159.15 hertz 160 hertz. Now, here what we will do see everything is same except that now we are using the active component except where we are using the active component. We will again apply a 5 volts peak to peak sine wave from 50 hertz directly at V 1 50 hertz directly at V 1 and slowly increase the frequency at steps of 20 hertz right. So, what we will see now we will apply low frequency and we keep on increasing to the high frequency. In the passive filter what we have seen we, have, we started with the high frequency and we reduce down to the frequency which was below 160 hertz. Here we are doing opposite we start from 50 hertz and we, we increase it at a step of 20 hertz or 50 hertz or 100 hertz does not matter when we will see the experiment we will see. Observe the output at V o we have to observe the output which is at here V o and note down its peak to peak value ok. We can observe that at a frequency cut off 
a by root 2 and below the cutoff amplitude is suppressed. We will see uh, how the voltage at the output changes when we go or when we by when we pass the cutoff frequency f c all right and uh, uh, to increase the gain of filter replace r 2 with 100 kilo ohm. So, right now see r 2 and r 1 both are kept at 10 kilo ohm r 2 and r 1 are kept at 10 kilo ohm. If I if I increase if I want to gain increase the gain then I will change r 2 to 100 kilo ohm then my gain would be 10 10 plus 1 or 11 yeah it is inverting no it is inverting amplifier so, it will be 10 right it, my gain would be 10 inverting inverting amplifier all right right now my gain is 1 because r 2 and r 1 both are 10 kilo ohm r 1 equals to r 2 equals to 10 kilo ohm so my gain is 1 ok. So, let, let us do this experiment let us do the experiment and see what signals we see the, at the, cha, at the output of this circuit. So, uh, let us see on the breadboard please on the breadboard. Now, we can we can see he is showing us the circuit of the uh, high pass high pass filter high pass filter active filter and here we can see uh, the capacitor and the resistor right capacitor and the resistors similar to the circuit that we have seen on the uh, screen which is similar to the circuit on the screen. Here we are using operational amplifier here we are using operational amplifier. So, when we have to use operational amplifier the first thing that we have to do is apply the biasing voltage. This biasing voltage is given by the DC power supply. So, you can see he is connecting DC power supply to the operational amplifier that means he is applying bias voltage to the op amp. Now, once he has applied the bias voltage he has to apply the input voltage input signal to the capacitor of the active high pass filter. So, he is applying the input voltage right at the capacitor of the active high pass filter this capacitor is connected to the resistor is connected to the inverting terminal. So, now the input signal that we have decided is we have to apply 5 volts and 50 hertz right and he has to also connect the output of the operation amplifier to the oscilloscope as usual because we are looking at the change in the output on the oscilloscope correct. So, if you if you see input signal if you see input signal uh, at 50 hertz you see the, the yellow one is your input and the blue one is your output you see that for the input of 5 volts for the input of 5 volts the output is 1.68 volts so at 50 hertz frequency at 50 hertz frequency now if i increase the frequency from 50 hertz to next which is the which is the 70 hertz what i see that still my output is 2.16 which is not equal to 5 volts and i cannot still uh, pass the frequency now, I, I keep on increasing the frequency in slowly in steps. So, now we go to 90 hertz and I see it is still not allowing to pass go to 100 go to 100 and still I cannot see the frequency can be passed you see you, you have to understand in this way not from the just uh, uh, that you can see the frequency of the input and output similar that is not the case that is not the case you have to see the peak to peak voltage look at the peak to peak voltage all right. So, here you can see the peak to peak voltage is 2.88 volts and the input signal is 5.12 volts. So, you understand from that uh, point of view now we are increasing to 100 hertz let us increase to 120, 110, 120 excellent 120 still we cannot see, but you see th now it is 3.20 volts ok 150. Hundred and fifty three point sixty. It is still not allowing. 
still not allowing our cutoff frequency was 159.15 hertz. So, let us see now 159 or 160 can we keep up 160, 160 hertz still not allowing let us see little bit little bit uh, 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 now it is 5, 5 by root 2. So, still we have 3.76. So, let us still increase the uh, frequency see uh, uh, so now we have uh, 5 by root 2. So, 4.72 is it yeah. So, so now we have see 460 hertz 460 hertz and now we see that it is very close to our input signal 5 volts right is keep on increasing the frequency. Now, at a higher frequency you will see it exactly follows your input signal it follows the same peak to peak voltage of your input signal you can see it is from 1.5 kilohertz right and you can increase to 2 kilohertz you increase to 2.2 kilohertz you increase to 2.5 kilohertz and you will see that keep keeping increasing the frequency will also will also allow the output signal to follow the input signal and thus this active high pass filter is working well this active high pass filter is working perfectly well right. So, what we see is if we want to design a passive high pass filter or if we want to design active high pass filter the, the idea is very simple that in a passive high pass filter your formula is 1 upon 2 pi r c active high pass filter your formula still remains 1 upon 2 pi r c, but here you have an advantage of changing the gain because it is an active high pass filter you can change the gain by changing the value of resistors r 2 and r 1 uh, while in the case of the passive uh, uh, filter you cannot change the gain right that is the only change. Another thing that you have to understand here. Uh, is that it is very easy to understand how to apply the input signal, how to check the output signal and at what cutoff frequency designed by us the signal will not allow to be uh, pass that is uh, for the high pass filter certain low frequency below the cutoff frequency will not allow to be passed for the low pass filter the frequency above the cutoff frequency will not allow to be passed right. So, now with this particular set of uh, experiments I hope that you are able to understand how you can design a low pass and high pass RC filters that is passive filters and low pass and high pass active filters that is R, C and op amp right. Uh, learn about it read about it once again from the theory class understand the experiment read this uh, particular set of uh, module or look at it right rather than reading look at the module see again and again then you will understand what are the things that we are, we are performing. If you have access to the laboratory right please go and perform this experiment right you can perform the experiment along with your mentor you can perform the experiment with your friends and see how you can design an active high pass filter how you can design an active low pass filter how you can design a passive high pass filter how you can design a passive low pass filter all right so with this particular uh, uh, experiment uh, i hope that you understood something uh, further regarding how to apply the operational amplifier to for the for the application of a filter and i'll see you in the next class with the next set of filter which is the band pass filter and band reject filter till then you take care i'll see you in next class bye